Hello again, guys. A um, couple of days ago, I did my first video thread uh, on something called the U Saver. Um, <laughs> I should have given you a bring popcorn warning. I didn't realize at the time that the runtime of all six of those videos was 30 minutes, so you should have brought popcorn to go see it, or at least the beer. But in any case, at the end of that video, I'm encouraging or goading uh, a company like DMM to come up with a, a lightweight alternative to this rigging ring. Something that uh, is big enough to pass the pinto pulley, but is not solid steel and is lighter and would serve that function more like a thimble. And the reason I thought of DMM is that they have this wonderful little investment cast thimble. Uh, they've got it out now in uh, in six and eight millimeter uh, cords. It's a, it's a great little design. That's why I thought of them. But what I don't want to see happen is to just take this idea and scale it up big, big enough to pass a Pinto. Uh, really, we need a different kind of an idea. And I'd like to introduce the concept of a safety thimble. I don't want a thimble that is rated for climb spec. Okay, I don't want a 5,000 pound rating on a thimble. Uh, I don't want to carry all that weight around for 10 years for the off chance that I take a fall. And after the fall, I go over to my climbing rig and hold the thimble up and say, see how nice and round it still is. What I would much rather have is something that is much lighter, cheaper to buy, and is designed to collapse progressively starting at, you know, maybe two or three times the working load. Say the working load of a climb system is 500 pounds, the design load, the design spec is 5,000 pounds. At 1,000 pounds or at 1,200 pounds, this thimble should start to collapse. The only time the climbing rig is going to see forces above 1,000 pounds is in a dynamic situation catching a fall. So let the, let the thimble absorb the energy of that fall, um, much like crumple zones in a car. Um, you total the car and save the driver. Um, the collapse can't happen in a haphazard way. Uh, for example, it, it can't produce any metal shards, or it can't produce any, any, thrust, uh, any uh, stress razors that threatens the integrity of the cord. Um, but ultimately, you want the collapse, you want the design spec of the system to, to depend on the strength of the cord and the strength of the eye splice and give up the thimble. Now, I think that would be a terrific idea for our climbing world. But I also think it's broader than that. Um, I think anywhere in the rescue world, uh, that could be a very important idea. Um, picture a litter being winched up into the helicopter. If it's held on a safety thimble, it will provide protection for the victim in the event of an unexpected shock load uh, on the system, protect him from those, those G-forces. But it will also provide the owner of the equipment with a visual indication that his system has been overloaded and every other component in the system needs to be uh, inspected or replaced. Anyway, that's the idea I wanted to, to turn loose into the wild. Uh, DMM, are you listening? Rock Exotica, are you listening? Maybe we'll get some interesting uh, conversations going. Thanks.